Hey guys, Jared here, and today we're going to run a few tests on four different laptops to see how much battery life we can save while gaming using NVIDIA's Battery Boost feature. NVIDIA claimed that Battery Boost will allow you to game on your laptop for up to two times longer. So let's find out. NVIDIA's Battery Boost is enabled by default and will automatically extend your battery life when gaming on battery power. You can toggle it on or off through GeForce Experience. As soon as you unplug from the power, it will kick in if it's enabled. I've tested this by playing two different games, each with Battery Boost enabled and then disabled to see the differences in battery life based on the game tested. By default, Battery Boost will cap the frame rate at 30 frames per second, so you shouldn't dip below this point. However, it is possible to manually increase this limit up to 60 frames per second if you prefer a higher setting. Just keep in mind that doing so will reduce the amount of battery power saved. For my tests, I've left the settings at the default 30 FPS, as this is likely how many people will be using it, and in theory it should also give us the best power saving results. From my experience, many games are still very playable at 30 frames per second as well. For this test, I'll be using four different laptops with different graphics cards to help give us a pretty good sample size. These are the specs of the laptops that I'm testing with. Primarily, we've got an NVIDIA 970M, 1050 Ti, 1060, and 1080 with Max-Q. All laptops have a 7700HQ CPU with the exception of the 970M, which has a 6700HQ. I've only tested a couple of games as it takes a long time to test this with so many laptops due to the charging times, and I only had most of the laptops for a short period of time. With that in mind, let's check out the results. I've tested GTA 5 with default settings, MSAA set to 2 and FXAA on. We can see straight away that Battery Boost is helping out, allowing us to play the game a little longer across all laptops and quite a lot extra with the 1050 Ti. I've also tested The Witcher 3 with the medium preset, which has produced a similar result. The 1050 Ti displays the biggest difference between using Battery Boost and disabling it, almost achieving the twice as long target with the feature enabled. While the other laptops do have a noticeable improvement, they aren't as good as what the 1050 Ti is doing. Of course, these results will likely differ based on the game being played, but this does at least give us a rough idea of the battery power savings that the Battery Boost feature is able to give us, all while still providing a good gaming experience. Obviously, the up to twice as much battery power claim is a best case scenario, so it's interesting to see how this applies in practice. As a little bonus, I've also got the results from Shadow of Mordor on the 1080. I didn't get time to test this on the other laptops, unfortunately. I was interested to try this as it's really easy to push high frame rates in this game, and while testing with ultra settings, I was getting over 120 frames per second, which is much higher than the other two games tested. So when capped by battery boost, the frame rate was reduced to a quarter. Despite this, we still weren't able to play for twice as long, but the difference is still noticeable. It's worth noting that the battery sizes of each laptop are different, so comparing each graphics card against the others isn't that useful. By instead comparing the overall results of the different games with and without battery boost, we can get an idea of the battery power that we can save. We should also expect that laptops with more powerful graphics cards save more battery with the battery boost feature enabled, as they'll be limited to 30 FPS rather than burning through as much power as they can to produce higher frame rates. If you've got a recent laptop with an NVIDIA graphics card, chances are you're already using Battery Boost. The feature requires NVIDIA 800M series graphics or higher, Windows 7 or above, and NVIDIA's 331.40 drivers or later. So will you guys be taking advantage of NVIDIA's Battery Boost to squeeze out some extra gaming when running on battery? Or will you burn through your limited battery power faster to have a better gaming experience? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and leave a like on the video if you found the information useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.